Hey guys, I hope you all are doing well. In today's video, we're gonna create a splash screen in iOS and then we will change the app icon. Previously, we did it for Android. So if you're curious to learn how to make it in Android, you can check out here. So let's get started. So here we use the React Native splash screen for Android. You can just check out this repo. Here we need port files for iOS. So open the terminal and just move to iOS folder and enter port install. Then it will install all the port files. I already did it. Now open up the finder and go to the project and then go to the iOS folder. So from here open splashdemo.exe workspace. Make sure don't open Xcode proj. Just double click on it. So it will open the iOS project in Xcode. So you can see here we have a launch screen, click on it, just run the project from here. Ok, build is succeeded. So you can see the default splash screen visible here. So we don't have any control on it. So let's add some code here. And for that, we have to update appdelegate.m file. Copy this line. Open up appdelegate this m file. And paste here. and copy this too and paste above this return statement alright just run it again so here we have 2 seconds timeout so it will wait for 2 seconds after completing the app loading. Alright. So build is completed. Ok. So now we will add this image in the Xcode. Click on this plus button and select image set. Rename it to splash icons. We just need to drag and drop here. Now add this splash image. Same for other. We have 2x and 3x size of images. Add them as well. Alright. Open launch screen. Delete this text. Let's add image. Click on this plus button. Move it to center. Alright. Now click this constraint button, set all the sides to 0 and uncheck constraint to margins and click on add this constraints. Now it covers whole screen. Now let's select splash bg image from here. So it is not covering whole screen. So add here, click on content mode and select aspect fill. Now you can see it covers whole screen. Alright, we can check with other devices. Yeah, works fine. Now let's add another image. Search image and double click on it. Set it to horizontal center like so. Let's add image from here. Select splash icons. Alright. Switch to this tab. Remove this constraints. Alright. Let's add text field. Here add text. Make it large and move to center. Now select no border, resize it. Alright, make the text to align center. Change the text color to white. And resize the font size. Now move it to center. Alright, let's check it with other devices. Yeah, we need to remove this constant from here.
all right now let's build again replace so build is completed yeah looks pretty good next we will change the app icon click on images.xc assets and then app icon so you can see we need to add different size of images go to google and search ios app icon generator click on this first link so here we need to add app icon image just drag and drop here so we don't need android mac os and watch os images just unselect click on generate so file is downloaded let's open up the folder all right so you can see we have different size of images so open up the xcode and drag and drop the folder here all right all the images set here Let's delete this app icon folder and rename this. Let's open the project general. So here you can see the default app icon source point to app icon folder. Alright. First we will delete this app so we don't see any caching problem. Now build again. Alright, you can see app icon changed and splash screen appears okay that's it i hope you learned something new thank you so much for watching and for more such type of video please subscribe to my channel i'll see you in next one till then take care and bye bye